between 10 to 50,000, depending on that's what we're finding, right? Some, and then of course, anything that we see in our neighboring arms is in the thousands. So yeah, we see a very small part of our galaxy. I mean, yeah. when you, yeah, when it's you hard. think about it. It's hard to see the, our own Milky Way, you know? So it's so awesome to be able to look at this fly through. This is awesome. like trying to then, see yourself and you have no mirrors, you know? Yep. No, ref yep. no water to see your reflection in, you know? Yes. So I like um, that last talk, though, uh, Scott, it was awesome with, uh, you know, um, with, with the um, uh, JPL. Uh, Tom, uh, was it Tom and... Um, Tom and Linda Spilker. Linda, yeah, Linda, yeah, Linda Spilker. Spilker, uh, they were awesome. I mean, just incredible. Um, imagine, you know, the, the um, you know, when they were talking about the distances there and, and trying to, just trying to get outside of our own solar system, right? I mean, that's, yeah. that's, a, they, that's they, amazing. They live, eat, and breathe that all day long. Yep. Oh, I like how this, this kind of goes through the, as you're zooming down, going through this little cluster here. Beautiful. I love galaxies. <laughs> yeah, me, too. me too. That's why I got into amateur astronomy is, is to look at them, you know? Yeah. And to, to see yeah. that fossil light. I read a oh, book by uh, Timothy Ferris, and this book is called The Red Limit. And it's the uh, story. He, he's, a, he's a journalist, science writer, and he's done some documentaries and stuff too, Timothy Ferris. But uh, it is the story of uh, the discovery of the expansion of the universe, you know. And it's it's a really interesting read. That's cool. Yeah, I like this kind of, you know, as you start looking at more and more galaxies, you see these fly throughs and that, you know, you talk about the overview effect, right? I mean, even though we can't see ourselves so well, except for the pale blue dot, right? And that gives us a small view, but to be able to see all this, you can imagine we're actually looking at many, many, many billions and billions and trillions of, of worlds. And, uh, and we're just looking at them, right? I mean, we're observing and we just don't have the resolution, but imagine, I mean, I think about, you know, we're going to be traveling to Mars and we have the Mars rovers. That's really cool. But, Imagine Triton, like we were talking in the last session, uh, you know, with a with a, an atmosphere, like a thicker atmosphere and some weather. Mm -hmm. I mean, that that's going to be so amazing. When, yeah, when flying a drone on Triton. Flying on a drone. Oh, my gosh. That's going to be so cool. I mean, you'll be like already looking at the Mars Perseverance and seeing it's just like Earth. I mean, it's just the, you have it's like a desert on Earth, right? Same type of rock formations, uh, same type of dust and rocky and the has the sky it has the uh, the features it's it's just amazing and as we get with more complex atmospheres like a triton for example um that's more earth-like that that'll be really cool venus of course the problem with venus is that the atmosphere destroys you <laughs> uh you know so it, it's it's just too tough uh to get in there but uh but if we could just Venus go down and hold more, your breath. Don't you yeah. know? <laughs> <laughs> if Venus was a little more hospitable for our for our uh, for our equipment, uh, then we could really have some pretty nifty um, uh, explorations of Venus too. Um, yes, we, I'm sure we will ex explore Venus. So, yeah, that's great. That's, I, I want to I want to thank the Astronomical League. They let me broadcast uh, that last program on their channel, which was pretty cool. Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great partnership. The, the Alcon, of course, was fantastic. So Astronomical League and then your cooperation has been fantastic and great. <laughs>
This is a Japanese probe, eh? Yes. I recognize it's the characters. Like, it's so many spacecraft, no one really keeps up with very much, you know? Oh, look at that. Yes. Oh, my God. Look yeah. at that exchange. Oh, man. That's awesome. Enough to make Gary and and and, uh, and those guys. Uh, <laughs> Gary Palmer. <laughs> yeah, Gary Palmer. The guys are jealous. Look at this. Look at this one. Wow. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. It's just raining plasma back onto the star. It's crazy. I think the Northern Lights or something. Wow. Yeah. that to be in your direction <laughs> <laughs> right well now it's raining back on it's crazy wow. all right well thanks uh i guess i'll just jump in eh, you like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. all right so we're, we're we've got annie scarborough here and she hung out with us uh <laughs> until our, our episode here, uh, which got shifted to six o'clock. Um, and to be very honest, I forgot that Annie was still here. He forgot about <laughs> me. Oh, and I went and knocked on, on my knocked door. door and and like, who there was, the, there's nobody in the building. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> there's crickets out there and stuff. <laughs> it's like, who the right? is that? Totally me. There you go. Yeah, should Just I waiting? Yeah, should I call the police now or you know? So and then anyhow. and then and then I found you and Cameron on the phone talking, and I was said that yeah, very, we're just talking very, away, you know. Very rude to let me have the conversation. You had steam coming out of her ears, okay? No, I would never. Do that. I don't. No, I really, do, I really don't get mad. Her. If you get me mad, then you've done something really. I did something really wrong. Really. It's I can't imagine you mad, honey. You're you're <laughs> such a friendly person. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I try not. I really try my hardest to not get mad. But anyways, but when happen. she does, man, it's scary. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think anybody's seen you it. You saw here. Linda Blair, right? And, but it, yeah. So. Yeah. Anyways, the claws Anyhow. come out. Anyways. Yeah. No, I hung out, and so it's pretty yeah, quiet gonna... around here. And. Yeah, I got I got to uh, work on. Um, I've had I've had some pesky certificates that every time I seem to want to print pesky. them, that yes, every what time I want to print, what makes a certificate pesky? Well, every time I want to print it, there's something either on it or uh, it's got a line through it. So yeah. I'm um, picky I've, about how they look. You yes. Know? Well, I totally get it. I would, I, I would want my certificate to look nice. So, yeah, sure. but on that, on that note, we did have a, um, we had a mishap with the mail. The U.S. Mishap po with uh, yeah, the U.S. Postal Service. We so we uh, the the certificates I went to mail out the other day. Yeah. Um, uh, the post office did not pick up, so I have. I had to finagle an issue or finagle something for them to accept them and take them. So we're, I, I'm trying my hardest. I know people are out there wanting their certificates. I'm trying. I really, God. I really am trying. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. So One barrier after another, no, but you're, you're, you're getting them out, right? Yes. Yes. We, yes. And cool. so um, we should consistently start getting those out in the next week. I'm waiting for some envelopes to come. Um, Cause I have a, I have a lot a lot to I'm sitting here looking at the file right now I have I have a lot to mail so but um so that so I, I kind of want to let people know what's going on with that um but I 
um, I did want to highlight today because, you know, I, the last week I've been highlight, I've been talking a lot about uh, photography contests. And so I just want to, you know, we, we have another one coming up. It's going to start the 1st of September. It's going to be um, solar is what it, it's, what it's going to be on. And so, um, you know, we, we try oh, to new, really, the new astrophotography, contest. yeah, the new yeah. astrophotography contest yeah. is going to be solar. And so, um, uh, Trisha is right now, she's trying, she's working on getting the new, the new, uh, login and all that stuff, um, up and running, but we will, um, what we'll do is like normal, it's going to, you sign up and all that stuff, but we are asking people to, um, when you load your, when you down, when you submit your, your pictures to please put your last name on there and what it is, of course, it's going to be the sun, but you know, just, just so we have a better filing system, because we're spending a lot of time going through and trying to match um, entry forms up with uh, yeah. other. And so we're get trying better as, as it goes along. So. Yeah. And so that's going to be something new. It'll be on the form and stuff. But I just I, it's really neat. If you go on our Web page, you will actually see. You'll actually see all of our stuff all of our, uh, we have customer images and uh -huh. you can actually go on. You, I, I actually helped a customer do this the other day. He wanted oh, to see, cool. he wanted to see what an eat, what, how well, uh, I think an ED 80 took pictures. And so yeah. he just started going through, he spent forever on here going through the pictures and, and it'll tell you this is an ED 80 carbon fiber, but it'll uh -huh. tell you what, what, what the person used. And so, cool. uh, but there's some beautiful, beautiful photo. This is just customer photos. That, um, I don't even know if all these are um, members or not, but what then if you go. Oh, this is great. If you go on here, you can see the astrophotography contest winners. Mm -hmm. And then you slide over them and it'll tell you who it was and what, what place they won. And then you, of course you can click on the photos Hmm. and it'll go through them nice um, so you know if you're if you're a winner if you win an a, a photography contest that's beautiful if you win a photography contest with us you'll be uh you know th this stuff will get uploaded it's uh, i'm playing catch up right now with it so we have the dslr contest that we, we've had four contests that we've done Mm -hmm. and there's just some absolutely beautiful oh, yeah. Look at oh, beautiful wow. photos yeah. on here and stuff. so if you just want to go and browse around and look you'll be able to see um who won you so know they what they under used. the explore alliance tab and then they can find those yeah. explore alliance oh. tab and then um and then of course as the as our contests continue on we're going to have to um house them underneath one thing we'll work on that we'll get a little bit more organized sure. but uh, but this is what a form looks like whenever you go and then you'll click here to enter and it'll take you it'll take you to the entry form where you can upload and stuff well um i've got to get these to trisha so she can get them on here but um, I just want to kind of point that out, you know, okay. it, it's, a very it, cool feature. It's, it, it is a very nice feature, you know, and if you, if you are a legacy member or a platinum member, um, you, you can enter these contests and, um, you know, be highlighted or, you know, we try to, we try to, in our, uh, skies up ma magazine, put all of our, all of our photos in yeah. there for everybody that's entered. And right. so it's nice exposure. Yep. So, so it's, it, it's a really great exposure. And so, um, and it's just amazing to look at it's it, at what, what people can do and what they're doing. I mean, I mean, Cameron's got an amazing self. I'm I, every time I'm shocked, every time I watch his show, I'm like, you got that with the cell phone. Holy with cow. The cell phone. Right. <laughs> like, I know. It's crazy. Oh. So it's amazing. It's amazing. But, but yeah, so, you know, okay. it's something to do and something well, to thank look Thank you very at. much, Annie. So, thank yeah. you. But yeah. And thanks for hanging in there. And yes. thanks for knocking on my door and reminding me that you were still in the building. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't set the alarm off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. No. Scott yeah. left. I'm going to punch in the. <clears throat> <laughs> no, I probably would have the police here in about two seconds. And then I would have problems, wouldn't I? That's right. So. That's right. With shotguns.
All right. Well, y'all have a good Annie, evening. Thank you. Thank no you problem. Y'all have a good evening. Have fun. If you're yeah. not a platinum member or a legacy member, sign up, sign up, sign, sign up. up. Become sign an Explore up. Life member. Yeah. It's great. It's a great group to be a part of. So, all, all right. right. Y'all right. have a good Take evening. Care. Thanks, Annie. Good Thanks, night. Thanks, Annie. Cheers. All right. Hey, Cameron, word to you at this point. And I, I know you, we talked earlier, you have, uh, yeah, I have a hard stop, but that's okay. I'm sorry about that. No worries. No, it, this is this is great. I mean, uh, as I mentioned, I, I've done a lot of pre work, so this uh, this is fine. I mean, I, I've actually paired back my uh, astronomy today. No big deal. The Cygnus has a lot of good stuff in it, and we're yeah. gonna get we're gonna get some to some good juicy stuff uh, initially here. And uh, so let's let's go in. Let's dive in. So I'm gonna share my okay. screen. Okay. Let's and, do it. Uh, Let's do it. Okay, let's go. Uh, okay, so we, if you recall last week, let me just uh, actually put that in the background here and go. Last week, we were doing um, the uh, uh, Dolphinus. We were continuing from Aquila. We did Dol Dolphinus, Sagitta, and Vulpecula. And we ended up with the uh, the Dumbbell Nebula, if you recall, and I'll show you some. And I have some new pictures of that, and I'll just show you that. And then uh, we're going to dive into the the, I guess the head of uh, Cygnus. This is, I guess, the tail is the is Deneb, the brightest, and then the, it's heading south. It's heading south for the winter, and uh, the neck. So we're going to go through the neck of uh, Cygnus here with these objects, and we'll end up with the uh, Crescent Nebula is our last object for today. And then uh, after we've done that, uh, in the following weeks, uh, we're going to continue through. Uh, all the way up to, uh, to the north of it, uh, through the fireworks galley. There are a couple of galaxies actually in Cygnus. I love galaxies, so I'll find them wherever they are. And sure enough, uh, they have a real wide range. You have planetary nebula, you have, you know, diffuse nebula, dark nebula. And you have galaxies. You got everything. Um, and then we're gonna get, we're gonna start to get into the uh, the following weeks. We're gonna get into um, the nebula, so the North American nebula, Cocoon nebula, uh, Pelican nebula. And then finally, the last uh, object of Cygnus that we'll, we'll end up with a bang is the, uh, the Cygnus, um, the, veil, the Veil Nebula complex, and uh, have a bunch of stuff there. There's a couple of galaxies we'll pick up on, along the way. So let, with that being said, uh, we're going to do, um, let me just share my, uh, so this is what we'll do today. Put this in presentation mode, whoops, sorry. So we are going to do, uh, so we, so far, we've explored 168 images uh, of 119 objects. So we're going to do 14 new images today uh, of six objects. And the reason why there's so many images is because I'm going to show you some of the progressions on some of those uh, as I've improved my imaging techniques uh, of, the, of those. I did a lot of work in Cygnus as I got my new gear, moving from smartphone. I have lots of smartphone, but I also moved into Astro Imaging with an ASI 294. and uh, and um, We'll, we'll show you kind of the program. And I learned about, of course, the darks and flats and calibration frames. So, uh, and we'll spend more time, not today, but in the future. I am very happy to say I just got an Exos 2 um, with PMC8 mount. It just arrived on the weekend. And uh, I was just talking to Kent Martz <laughs> earlier today and, and uh, yeah, getting, basically uh, getting it all set up. So you're in future episodes, you're going to start to me, you know, I've kind of, taken this journey of astrophotography um, from the smartphone alt azimuth and then I added my smart camera or my astronomy camera learned about calibration and then now of course equatorial which is the the, the final uh, you know the final uh, frontier if you well, will you, well you think it's the final <laughs> yeah try to you, thank you yes it's, it's the next You're just now I'm opening just, the door yeah. <laughs> it's now opening the door exactly and so the, I, I I realized very quickly I'm looking at this beautiful mountain beside me and uh, I realized quickly that there's just so many possibilities yeah uh, like you said and, and it's going to be so wonderful so I'm really having fun enjoying the journey of, of getting that basically the workflow and, and getting that system set up so it really hums along. And, uh, and and of course, there's so much, because it's an open system, there's so much cool stuff I can do in the future. So that, that will be coming along. So in the meantime, uh, let's let's dive in. So just to let where we left off, we had the dumbbell nebula. This is the last image I took on in June. And then nice. I just wanted to show you this. Look at this image now. This is the one I took on the 14th of July. 
So you compare this image, it's a bit fuzzy, uh, you know, it, it has the big netting and, uh, and all that, but look at this, look at this image, nice and flat. Wow, that's your right? image. That's this, great. Is my new, this is my new image, my latest image. Wow. And you can very clearly see some structure here on the, yeah. on the outside. So Can very, very happy. Flowers? It's very nice. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the latest I took in July 14th. So, uh, so now we can go into, uh, six, eight, three, four. So let's go to the first object of today. Six, eight, three, four is right. is a cluster open cluster right on the border of Cygnus on the Southern part. And let's take a look at it. Magnitude 7.8. It's a uh, 6.7 thousand light years away. So it's quite bright. Uh, quite, quite, quite nearby, it's kind of in the middle of the pack. And then if we go to, um, this is my smartphone image. And, um, and what I did is, uh, you'll see that I put a square, uh, what did I do here? Um, yeah, so, so this is my, my smartphone image where I actually have the limited field of view. So basically I, I actually took the picture, um, uh, and it, it cuts off the IP. So this was actually a higher priority IP. So I used a, a Nagler. So that means that I couldn't see the edges of the field. But what you can see very clearly is a nice sprinkling of stars. Uh, this is a nice pattern. I, it has a nice uh, string of, of um, brighter stars with some fainter ones uh, intermingled. Very pleasing in the eyepiece. Uh, but as I mentioned in previous episodes, um, I'm, I want to get better at, at cluster picture uh, taking with the, getting the colors of the stars and taking maybe shorter exposures so the the, um, the pixels don't get uh, filled up and, and they become nice and sharp. And so that will try to replicate. But in the eyepiece, this is a nice little cluster. So highly recommended. Um, here's the uh, astro imaging view of the same. I had some big netting. As you can see, this is an earlier one from June. And, but you can see it's nice and dense. Uh, so rich, pretty rich start field. And you have these brighter members and, of course, some nice fainter smattering uh, in those. So you, you get a little better feel with this image. ARO11, we go to uh, back here. So we zoom back out. This is a planetary nebula at the head of uh, Cygnus. ARO11 and that one, magnitude 11.4. So, uh, but it's pretty, pretty stellar. It's actually very stellar. So uh, it's quite bright in a, even in a smaller telescope, very easy to pick out. 5.2 thousand light years away. And if we look at it um, here, uh, this is a smartphone image. Oh, again, where I zoomed in uh, to try to get some something and you really can't see much, unfortunately. <laughs> so that's the best I can do. But uh, visually you can see it as a clearly a fuzzy star. Um, uh, I, and here's the same thing I tried to, um, do this with my smart, with my astro imaging camera. Nice, rich star field, and very clearly you can see it there. But uh, it's hard to make it distinguish from a regular over, overexposed star. So uh, again, as I've mentioned previously, I want to add some Barlows and tele extenders, get some focal length in there, and then really be able to eke out that those really tighter planetary nebulae. But that's uh, that will be in the future. But that's part of the sky survey. You know, we, we're going to brush, do a broad brush, and we can clearly see mm -hmm. some of them that need uh, that special setup. So uh, this is one of those objects. Uh, but nice visually, highly recommended. Um, now we move on to another cluster, 6857. Oops, sorry. I'm going to go zoom back out here. 6857. Actually, it's not a cluster. I take that back. 6857 is a beautiful, tight little nebula. And, I, you know, we love nebula, uh, but it, they usually the problem with them is they're usually diffuse and it's hard to see them. But this one is very concentrated and very quite bright, actually. So if we look at it, uh, it's magnitude 11.3, very small, uh, but non-stellar. So if we take a look at the image, this is the smartphone image. You can't really pick it out too much. Um, very faintly, you can see a little bit of smudginess here, but it's not 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 much uh, because it, it had had limitations. So the smartphone kind of running it against the limit there. But here is my picture with the uh, ASI oh. two nine four, and as you can see, this is zoomed in, but a really nice 
pretty flat uh, view, right? And I've, I've kind of stretched it a bit. And you can see this kind of a um, pen, uh, for trapezoidal, I guess you could say, trapezoidal shaped box mm -hmm. around the star. There's a couple of stars mm -hmm. there. And you can see a different varying surface brightness. You can clearly see these edges here on the, I guess you could say the western side are are quite a bit brighter. And then you have this, you can see this visually. It won't be this color though. It's interesting the color comes up here as an orange, which is rather interesting. So probably from a chemical makeup, I guess I would make it more sulfur, right? The, uh, S2, what do you think? Uh, I, I, I don't know. No, really. Yeah. Um, I was so uh, I was interested in the ARO catalog that you put that object ARO 11. Yes. That's Arizona Radio Observatory. So that's a list of oh. radio sources. So it's a radio source as well. Thanks. ARO, that's, that's a yeah. cool piece. Yeah. Oh, that's neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I've noticed a number of the uh, planetary nebula are the ARO uh, designation. So that's that's cool from that catalog. Um, so yeah, so 6857, um, so I, this is again, nice visually, uh, clearly a non-stellar. And um, let's move on to the next one. A lot of, a lot of nice clusters in uh, mm -hmm. uh, 6871 is the next one. And that I love one the way there, you do this, uh, Cameron, because uh, again, it's, uh, I mentioned this before, but it feels like you know we're we're on a um we're we're tour. touring the sky in a very detailed way you know and uh uh you know it's it's like being out out with a naturalist that's taking you down a path you know a, a trail or something like that but you're learning about all the flora and fauna and all the really cool stuff about it and that that's what you do in this program it's totally amazing Thank you, Scott. And, and it's, you know, it makes it fun because it's more fluid that way. And you also can connect the dots. Mm -hmm. uh, you can, it's almost like star hopping, uh, you know, verbal star hopping. That's the uh, trail. Yeah, that's the trail for me. So that's yeah, really the trail. Cool. Yeah, exactly. So it make, you can start to see where the things are in relation to each other. And uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks. That's, that's uh, appreciated. And so this, this um, cluster here has a lot of bright mem members. It's magnitude 5.2. And if we go to, so it's again, a lot of these five point, so this arm looking kind of perpendicular, I guess you could say, because you're not looking at the center of the galaxy, you're kind of looking in line, you're not looking away either. So this is kind of along the line. There, there, this group of objects is around 5,000 light years. So that's interesting, uh, interesting. So this is my smartphone image, pretty, pretty nice. Uh, mm -hmm. A very pleasing uh, view. Um, Nice speckle and probably in even binoculars, you, you would be quite quite nice because it's just the right brightness and the right density. Six eight eight three, which is his neighbor, it's just down the just down the road. Um, magnitude eight, fainter because it doesn't have these brighter members, which of course bring up mm -hmm. the magnitude. Um, but if we take a mm -hmm. look at it, uh, you see it's a it's pretty close uh, in distance, uh, four four point five thousand light years as well. And here's the image for the smartphone. So pretty nice um you know to be able to take these pictures uh with the smartphone smartphone does quite quite well um with the brighter objects so so that's good but the only thing is the color didn't come out as much as i'd like but that's okay um now we get to the final object of, of tonight and uh i will get to one that everyone knows and if you haven't uh, now you know is uh, crescent nebula this is the crescent nebula in cygnus and uh, it's a beautiful kind of this crescent shape obviously but kind of brain uh, thing you'll you'll you you clearly see between these two stars and let me just look at the picture um, this is a smartphone image where the nebulosity i don't know if you can see it you just barely barely see a little bit here oh yeah you can you just barely barely see it but again, it's li very limited what you can do with the smartphone there. Um, but this is my first image back in June, where I just blew it out and I went to 2000 focal length. I didn't have the F6.3 extension uh, focal reducer. And you can see the structure very clearly mimicking what we see in the, in the uh, astronomy software. And, uh, but I want to I I kind of go through these sequence. So this is June. A little later in June, I got a little bit better with my exposure and I got the F63 reducer. 
but you can still see VIG netting. Now I've eliminated the VIG netting, but I still have some line noise. So this is this is uh, that's in early July, and then finally in July, middle of July, I got a better flatter view, and here's kind of my that's my best image so far of the crescent nebula. Not so not the best, but it's it's the best I have to date. And but you can see the progression and 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 improving uh, the capabilities. So you can see a very nice if you zoom in. And here, very nice, bright, textured nebulosity here on the eastern side. And then, of course, it fans out and it has some different color here as it goes by this star. And then it starts to thin out. But longer exposures will pick up some of texture here. And I'm looking forward to uh, once I get my um, my, my EQ, uh, my Axis 2 uh, equatorial all set up and I got my imaging. I'm going to I'm going to take this again with longer exposures, and that's that should eke out uh, these fainter tendrils over here. Yeah. But uh, if we look at the specs of this guy, Crescent Nebula, and I actually have to jump on my other call. Sorry, this this no object information. Um, magnitude 7.4. It's again, it's in the pack, 5.4 thousand light years away. So it's uh, they're all all these objects are in a similar distance from each other. And I think uh, that's it for today. Uh, I'm, I, I really uh, look forward to continuing our exploration through the rest of Cygnus. And um, yeah, thanks, thanks a lot. And uh, like I said, we're going to continue going kind of to the north, mm -hmm. looking at some galaxies, and then we'll move down, down here, and then start to get to the, the nice big juicy stuff. So uh, thanks, everyone. And um, all right. Keep looking out. Cameron, thank you so much, man. Thank you. Yeah. We look forward to uh, seeing you. I guess you'll be on Global Star Party next Tuesday. Absolutely. Uh, yes. And then, uh, we'll have you on on Wednesday for Camstronomy thank at the you. regular time. Yeah, <laughs> so. and it will be a longer session. I'll, I'll do a lot of objects at the that, That'd be awesome. Right. So thanks a lot. Okay, take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Take bye. care. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.